Good afternoon. Today we celebrate the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Presiding at this Mass is Father Chris Aletti. A few announcements. Please wait for the ushers to direct you to communion, and at the end of Mass, please stay in place until the ushers dismiss your role. Also, a reminder that we have been asked to refrain from congregational singing per archdiocesan guidelines. Please rise. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Because the communion is not covered throughout the Mass, I will, when I'm on the altar, I will leave my uh, face cover on because the communion is on, open. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you feed the hungry and care for the poor. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you, your healing touch brings holiness and life. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are just in all your ways, holy in all your works. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness. That for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the whole gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, this is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they, may, they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, 12 weaker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes it's not easy to get the accent of a foreign speaker in English. Because of that, I asked Father Mark if I could give my homily to be put in the bulletin. 
So my homily is written here in the bulletin, the second page, the title here, Summer Mission Appeal This Weekend, because somebody might find hard to get my accent. I am Father Chris Aleti, a Kombon missionary from northwestern Uganda. I was ordained a priest in 2003. My first assignment for missionary service was in Karamoja, located in the eastern part of Uganda. For 10 years, I worked among the pastoralists. Here, the people are always moving up and down in search of pastures for their animals. This lifestyle makes our mission and work very difficult, but we find our joy in following the people and providing services to them. I was transferred to the USA in 2014 and assigned to our mission office of Chicago living in Lagrange Park. I take this time to thank all the parishioners of St. John the Cross Paris for your continued support towards the mission work of the church. My special gratitude goes to your pastor, Father Mark Russell, who has an extraordinary zeal for missions. Two years ago, he went with me for a mission trip to Uganda, where we visited the refugee camps of the South Sudanese. May God reward all of you for all the mission work you do. Today's liturgy invites us to the banquet prepared by the Lord to share communion with him and with one another. The prophet Isaiah brings a message of hope to the people of Israel living in exile and announcing the end of their captivity. He says that God is going to restore his blessing upon them and they will flourish again. God does not need any form of payment from them for this new blessing, but only their yes to the invitation and readiness to trust in him. St. Paul tells us in the second reading that we should not be afraid of anything because nothing can separate us from the love of God. We should all come together to share our unity in the risen Lord. We are called to place our trust in him to overcome the temptations that we face. In the gospel of today, Jesus' heart was moved with pity, and he cured the sick. He tells his disciples not to send the people away hungry, but rather to share the little they had with the people. A little boy among the crowd surrendered his five loaves and two fish to feed the multitude of people. A single act, that of surrendering the loaves and the fish brought a lot of joy, hope, and peace in the lives of many. Jesus invites us today in the gospel, like the boy who gave his bread and fish, to bring to him all that we can afford, including our prayers, to help and assist those who need our support. Just like the disciples who did not have enough to feed the crowd, we too are experiencing tough moments now. Our borders have been closed. The economy is struggling. And many of us are worried, sick, dying. And we are struggling to put bread on the table. The challenge we face now as combined missionaries in the places where we work is the health crisis caused by COVID-19. We lost some of our priests, religious sisters, and brothers while ministering and sharing the love of God with the people globally because of COVID-19. In Italy, we lost four Komboni fathers and eight Komboni sisters. In Spain, we lost two Komboni fathers. While here 
in the USA, at our provincial house in Cincinnati, Ohio, we lost one of our priests in May to COVID-19. Today, our presence with the U.S. component missionaries is to invite you to call to the call of Jesus to help those who need our support. We are working to bring help to those who need it most at this period of the pandemic to provide education, health, care, clean water, and most importantly, hope to the poorest and most abandoned. One of our communities that needs some support for their ministry work is Amakuriat Paris in Kenya, where we have the Komboni fathers and the Komboni sisters. This mission is in a very remote area in the northwest part of Kenya, and the majority of the people of this area are Pokots, who are pastoralists. They have a high rate of illiteracy, hence affecting the proper organization of li livelihood skills. I am here today to make a mission appeal for the dispensary of Amakuri at Parish run by Komboni Sisters. The sister in charge of the health center is Sister Gabriela Vangelista, 81 years old, from Italy. This facility provides health care for many persons that come every day to the dispensary. And it also provides a few beds for admitting children and mothers who are seriously sick. The sisters, are also, the sisters also provide mobile clinic services for children and pregnant mothers, vaccinations, HIV and AIDS prevention program, and a food program for malnourished children. Hence, the people are always moving with their animals. Sister Gabriela did more of this outreach program effectively with a mobile clinic when she used to receive some medicine from, from the government of Kenya due to the situation of COVID-19, that supply has been reduced and does not come regularly as before. Many other programs of the government are affected Apart from the government support, Sister Gabriela used to get some help from her friends in Italy, which also has been affected due to COVID-19 crisis. When I talked with the Sister Gabriela on the phone, she told me any help would allow, me, would allow them to go on with a mobile clinic program to reach the mothers and the children in their homes. She fears that people, leave, people will die in their homes without any medical attention. She concluded by saying, Father Chris, with the issue of COVID-19, we now depend on the mercy of the Lord for any help to continue this work. Like the little boy in the gospel who gave his bread and fish for all, we are invited to contribute the little we can to support Sister Gabriela Evangelista in her missionary work. I want to thank you for your tireless support towards the missions. Every year, we combined missionaries receive contributions from this parish towards the missions. We understand what you are experiencing these days, and we promise to keep you and your families in our prayers always. May God protect you and keep your family safe. Whatever contribution you have, you will get an envelope, give it to the parish, then from the parish, we shall try to send to Kenya, to Amakuriet, to Sister Gabriela. May God bless you. We rise and profess our faith in our living God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus satisfied the hungers of those who came to hear he speak, him speak. Having listened to his gospel, we present our needs. For all who preach the word of God, that they may boldly proclaim the never-failing, never-ending love of our Creator. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may work together to eliminate hunger, homelessness, and poverty throughout the world. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Chris Aletti and all those who minister to the Cambodian Mission Center, that the support they receive through our contributions may bring comfort and hope to all who they serve. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our first communicants, that they may always find strength in Jesus, the bread of life. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parishioners, especially all parents and students, as the school year approaches, that God may give them the wisdom and insight as they review their options and choose the best way of learning this year. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially John Schmidt, Elizabeth Raz, Betty Fash, and all those listed in our bulletin, that they may find comfort in the peace of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Charlene Sprague, mother of Stephanie, Richard, Heather, and Timothy, Joe Petrovic, father of Elizabeth, Catherine and Joe, Paul Tanous, nephew of Steve Weigand, Sister Margaret Ivers, Bernice Smith, grandmother of Ryan Mao, that they may rejoice with all the saints in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those we remember at this Mass, especially Patricia Rogers, Richard Doey, John Partipillo, Joseph Wenta, Anne Winkle, and for those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, from whose love nothing can separate us. Help us conquer all things through the love you show us in your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Blessed you, Lord God of all grace, and through your goodness, and receive the bread you offer in fruit of the heart and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, receive the one we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Okay. 
we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church prayed throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and bless our bishop and all the clergy and all the family before you in front of the altar. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, now we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We show each other a sign of peace. Peace of the Lord be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under the room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be here. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. A company with constant protection, O oh Lord, those you renew with these heavy, heavenly gifts, and you are never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Thank you for this moment being together. We continue praying for one another. Our God is powerful. He'll make us through this if we are united, praying together with him. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I must remain in the joy of the Lord. Amen.